All right, everyone, the problem says the volume of a gas is 5.80 liters measured at 1.00 atmospheres. What is the pressure of the gas in millimeters of mercury if the volume is changed to 9.65 liters? And in parentheses, it says the temperature remains constant. Okay, so let's look at everything the problem gives us. We have a volume of gas that is 5.80 liters. So volume, and let's say V1 for volume at time one, that equals 5.80 liters. Okay, and that was measured at 1.00 ATM. So we have a pressure at that same time that is 1.00 ATM. Okay, what is the pressure? So what is the pressure of the gas in MMHG? So pressure at a different time, so let's call that P2. We don't know that, that's what we're solving for. If the volume is changed to 9.65 liters. So at that second time, we have a volume and it increased to 9.65 liters. Okay, the temperature remains constant as well. So temperature is staying the same, so we do not have to worry about temperature at all. So let's pretend that doesn't exist in this problem. So hopefully you kind of already know that this is a Boyle's Law problem because we were given two volumes and one pressure looking for the other pressure. And Boyle's law is P1V1 equals P2V2. So that is the formula we will use to solve this problem. So what are we solving for? We're solving for P2. So let's isolate that variable in our equation. And to do that, we are going to divide this side by V2 because that will get P2 by itself. But since we did that on the right side, we also have to do it on the left side. So we will divide by V2 on the left side. And again, V2 cancels out so that we're left with the equation that we want. So let's rewrite this as P2 equals P1V1 over V2. So now let's plug in our values. So we're gonna have P2 equals P1, V1 over V2, so P1 is 1.00 atmospheres. That's gonna be multiplied by V1, which is 5.80 liters, divided by V2, which is 9.65 liters. Okay, let's look at our units first. So we have liters on top and on bottom, so those will cancel and we'll be left with just atmospheres. So now we can plug this in our calculator. Okay, so we will punch in 1.00 times, it was 5.80, 5.80, and then we're gonna divide that by 9.65. Hit enter, and our calculator gives us an answer Let's round this to three significant figures, so we would get 0 0.601. So pressure two is equal to 0 0.601 atmospheres. Now, the question was looking for millimeters of mercury, so we are not done yet. We need to convert this to a different unit. So let's do that unit conversion real quick. Let's do it up here. We have 0 0.601 atmospheres, and we need that in millimeters of mercury. So we're gonna multiply by a conversion factor. And for that conversion factor, we need the relationship between these two units. Well, one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. So, since we're starting with atmospheres, that unit will be on the bottom. How many atmospheres? One from our relationship. And since we want millimeters of mercury, that unit will be up top our conversion factor. How many? 
760 because one atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury. Our units will cancel that we don't want atmospheres and we will be left with millimeters of mercury. So let's do the math here. Let's get back our calculator. We're gonna take our 0 0.601 and we're gonna multiply by 760 over one. So we can just multiply by 760 since dividing by one won't change anything. Hit enter and we get 456.76 Let's round again to three significant figures, so we would get 457. 457. Okay, there you have it. The volume of a gas is 5.8 liters at one atmosphere. What is the pressure in millimeters of mercury if the volume is now 9.65 liters? That would be 457 millimeters of mercury. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.